Oh, welcome to Witch Machine. An interesting Game Boy-esque looking game. Uh, part of a Game Boy Jam, I do believe. I have it so I set up and just, I don't know, I went through the color scheme. I was like, oh hey, we get to choose the color schemes of this. It's pretty cool. They have a difference of Link's Awakening style. And you can see, of course, the, the color palette on the top of the screen will be brown, green, light green, and a beige. And it'll make the main menu look like this. And we can change it from this to Kirokaze. Mist Super Pokemon Arn or Arnie or Arne Rustic Cream Chocolate Grapefruit Nymph. Nymph is what it started as, but I was then worrying about the green screen being affected. So I like the look of the Pokemon one because it's nice dark color palette and it looks cool. I'm gonna go with the Pokemon color palette just just as a just a yeah. And it's a point and click game too far away, so let's see. A holy symbol call for help. Oh, we can move with X. Very strange. Nothing there. Okay, point and click in a Super Nintendo style. Very interesting. A painting of a woman. She looks very angry. A basket for keys. There's no keys in it, though. A bunch of envelopes. Unread mail. Some of it is quite old. Took the letter. It's locked. A letter sealed with a heart. Hmm, so I can't just, like, read the letter? Hmm. Curtains, you don't want to look behind them. Why not? Wait, it says wait? Parlor. A couch. There's a thin layer of dust on it. It's late. There's nothing on. Just an infomercial under several layers of burn in. Spoon carries food from bowl to mouth. A bowl, old slimy stock congeals on the inside. Nasty. Well, this is the sketchiest thing in here. The witch machine. It's binding holes. It's binding holds it together. You're not done yet. Hmm. Okay, we can go the stairs are over here. Let's go here first, the hallway. Water powered radiator heats room via convection. Boxes stacked symmetrically. It's very symmetrical and is very pleasing. Kitchen. Too far away. Cupboard contains many boxes, flour, sugar, salt. Pot used to protect food from the heat of the stove. Jar holds things, nothing at the moment though. Ladle. Contains hot liquid safely. Spatula. Used to... She sounds like goddamn Bangalore from Apex Legends of over explaining everything. Pot used to protect it. Cupboard filled with spices. Power outlet. Microwave. Seems to be clogged. Cupboard. Contains many garbage bags and drain cleaners. Oven heats things using convection. Cans, some are quite old. Del delicious bag of new triangles? It's supposed to be like Doritos. Cardboard box filled with packing peanuts. Slow cooker. It's empty. For now. False candle. It's like comes from a light bulb shaped like fire. Stack of dishes. Like fine china. Oh, we took a cup. Nothing there. Still somehow burns. Stacks of plates that are not really relevant, apparently. It's quite a large house, I will say, but I think that was all of it. Now we can just go... Is the downstairs and upstairs? Let's see. Breaker box. The breakers are all unlabeled. 
It's empty, it's stained on the inside. That is gross. Power output. Washer, it's empty, except for a single sock. Washer cleans clothes if you provide chemicals. A toolbox, a couple of broken screwdrivers, ends rattle around inside when you pick it up, but there's nothing else. That's a sledgehammer, though. There we go. Am I supposed to hit this? A cylinder glass of empty. A reflection of yourself, a child, embrace your nature as a tool of destruction. What? is still protected. Oh, so I am supposed to hit this. Why would I want to hit... Like, what is this, a boiler? A furnace? Why would I do that? Like, it... It's saying I could maybe go down a path of, like, evil and destruction? I don't know if there's multiple endings in this game. Maybe I should check. Okay, I'm not even sure if what it's saying on the Game Store page is factual, or if it's just lore for, like, aha, this is an old game we discovered on a VHS cassette tape. Sort of creepy pasta. But the Game Store page says it was planned for release in 1996, which machine was an experiment in pushing the boundaries of what could be done on the Nintendo Game Boy. Concerns from investors over the project's viability and rumors of mismanagement by team leaders made development uniquely troubled. That is until word of troubling con content began to circulate months before launch, spelling the end for the game and the company behind it. Higher-ups at Godhead Interactive pulled the plug on the project weeks after the rumors surfaced and facing bankruptcy closed their doors on June 6, 1996. The final build of the game was never made to release, and the few test cartridges auctioned off during the company's liquidation became relics, finding homes in private collections unable to be played in their corrupted state. Last year, the Video Memories project was gifted a Godhead dev kit found by a fan in an old storage unit who hoped they could salvage its content. The patch contained within when applied to a development cartridge returned the game to a playable state, and now nearly 25 years later after its cancellation, the world is able to experience what could have easily been a piece of gaming obscura, Lost of the Ages. Please enjoy Witch Machine, a rediscovered piece of horror game history. Like, if that's all real, that's interesting? Because it's not a creepypasta kind of story. It sort of starts like a creepypasta story, as you might probably have gotten, like, red flags being like, hmm, this sounds like one of those Lost in the Ages, the horrifying VHS tape that kills anyone who watches it. Except it doesn't go in that direction. It says, it was cancelled, but we got it again, here you go. That's not creepy. That's just interesting lore or facts about the game, but is it true? It sounds interesting. So maybe I had to do some, uh, I don't know, some uh, research on the game afterwards, maybe. There's a mouse hole. No, I don't want to go up the stairs. I want to go to the mouse hole. Squeak. Yeah. All right, well, I'm going to be continuing to investigate. I'm not even sure how long the game is, to be honest, too. Dogird? Dogird joke book. Three ring binder full of charts. You don't want to look at this. Full of thriller series. Some newspaper comic volumes Wizard of Id and Marmaduke. The top drawer has a heavy record player in it that's jamming the other two drawers shut. The top drawer has a heavy record player in it that's jamming. A plastic desk lamp. You're very curious. Well, this is suspicious looking. A dumbwaiter, you don't want to look at it. You can't hammer it? Alright. Contains makeup and hair ties. What? What is this? Okay, it's still hiding in the darkness. Getting closer to it doesn't mean I can see it. The mirror reflects light through itself back at its viewer. I picked up a key, and now something is... I don't know if I can just hammer it. I don't know if I can save the game. I don't think so, so let's just keep moving away from the thing. Bed cloth covering springs. Hmm. Maybe... Call for help. Wait, what? Why did the color go that way? Strange. Is it maybe just an illusion? Is 
too far away. Yeah, I don't want to get closer to it, god damn it, key. Wait, maybe, hang on, could I see what was in each of these? I think I was, I should be escaping and, oh. Yeah, escape. Oh, he's fixing it. Thank you for fixing it? He just didn't get close and just died to it, okay, well, that was weird. Um. Hmm, very weird. Hey, sink faucet, stop! Actually, I should fill up the cup of water. Uh, cup. Yes! He filled a cup. Now we have a cup of water. Yeah. A key. So we need to find out what we can do with the hammer and what we can do with the key and the, then the water. Maybe we can fill up these here. Maybe that's what we were meant to do. No? No. I think I broke the game. It's just saying wait constantly and not letting me access my inventory. Oh, there it goes. That was weird. Oh yeah, we can unlock this. But that's why I... the lock clicks open and the key melts in your hand. There's some scissors in this drawer. You take the scissors. Oh. No. Not cutting the curtains. What is with the angry looking woman though, seriously? Oh, wait, what? Don't tell me... Okay, the game progress, fine. That was weird how I could just go there and it... Just so does the game save the progress when I leave this door? Because it went to the main menu afterwards. Weird. You snip away the barbed wire. You're not done yet. The witch machine. The spine burns. You're not done yet. You douse the burning log. You're not done yet. The witch machine. The shell remains. You're not done yet. Okay, can I stop? This whole inventory waiting system, I honestly... Maybe it is a Game Boy game because it's... Oh, the scripts wait for like a processing slowness. I don't know. You shatter its shell. Excuse me? The witch machine. The shards remain. Should I pick up the shards? Let's just, like, leave before that hand grabs me, maybe? Just maybe? The color seems to have faded, and it's kind of weird. I don't know. I'm confused. We have a letter, which we can't open. Unless we find, like, maybe, like, a letter opener. I, I, I don't know. The only thing I can think of is, like, go in the basement. We destroyed the witch machine. I think we had to go to the basement to destroy the, the what looks like a boiler. Yeah, right down here. Let's do that next, then. So the whole game was, like, telling me to succumb to the destruction I w wish to do. But I'm not sure if there's, like, multiple paths to the game, if there's multiple endings. But otherwise, these witch markings, or at least what I'm going to identify as witch markings, are sort of everywhere. I don't know if this is what I should be doing. No, the game just closes? I don't think it was a crash, but what the fuck? What? Is, is that it? Especially it says licensed by Nintendo. Are you allowed to do that? Because it's glitchy, it's not really Nintendo. It, it, just, it just... Everything is still the same. Wait, what? A witch is born from fear and secrets. Oh, child, dismantle that witch would blockade you. It is still locked, so what happened? The wish machine's back. Is that just the game assembly? 
And unless the developer says there's multiple endings, I... Uh, it's inconclusive, though. I smashed the boiler, it, what, I blew up and died, and then it restarted the game? I'd need to have the developer tell me if there's more to this game than just that. Because it is... A, I don't think... Is it a Game Boy Jam? It is a submission for Game Boy Jam 7 as well. I don't know, either way. Uh, interesting game, I guess. I'm just kind of confused if I played all there is to the game, or if there's just, like, numerous uh, pathways you can take, or if they're if the story that they provided is just completely, you know, fake. This god had interacted, if that even existed. Because it's a strange way to present your story that is a game lost to the ages. I'm gonna just guess it's probably more uh, inclined to just be a random story to present itself as a Game Boy game. So I don't think games back then would have been handled like this. Of other games that were like on the Nintendo, um, what was it, Night Something. I remember John Tron covered it one time. It was on the Nintendo. And other games that I played on Windows 95 wouldn't have been like this in any way. Um, the other game I remember playing as a kid that was really spooky spooky was Uninvited on MS-DOS. Uh, Amiga and early Windows computers, I do believe. Uh, and this doesn't really play like that for obvious reasons, but I don't know. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed this because I'm presuming I'm done. If not, then I'll hop back in if there's another ending or anything. But if it is done, then I just hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, comment, hit that subscribe button, become a full subscriber, hit the bell notification down below for updates on my videos. Thank you for watching, and until the next time. Mm.